I'm inside the Vale House. Alfred, the Vales are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes, but this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Recent family photo? Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown? Nothing I can see. clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle, probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Here's Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. 
It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way, with Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham. Seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Well, that's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she- Alfred, I think someone's still in the house, going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Clear. Nothing here. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna be all right. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. Y yeah? I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs? Fighting the police? I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because I hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Get down. Traps all over the city, but I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out to the open. Ah! 
hell? Nice work, kid. <gasps> They're dead. It'll be better if you don't look. Oh. I'm sorry. They weren't always nice, but they gave me a place to live. I promise. I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Batman! Oh my god! He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter Vicky is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who is the boy then? My guess is he's another foster child living with the Vales. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant! What's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not anymore, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. So your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. Alfred, get Lucius on the line for me, please. Of course. Let's get a closer look at you. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Electricity conductor. Everything looks functional. It should have worked. EMP functionality is all in the green. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. Bruce, I have Lucius on screen now. Good evening, Bruce. How can I help? I need you to see something. Sending you schematics. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, I am so sorry. I should have caught this, but he snuck right under my nose. That sleaze cobble pot at the heart of it all. 
Don't waste time beating yourself up about it, Lucius. Let's just focus on fixing it. Right, right. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. But if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to him. I'm tired of being on the defensive. Why don't we attack him instead? I'm not sure, but I can certainly see what I can do. Thanks, Lucius. Bruce, you're going to want to see this. Uh, excuse us, Lucius. Of course. Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne Estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. You, you can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. After what happened at the debate, Harvey probably isn't the biggest fan of Batman. On the other hand, perhaps Bruce Wayne can appeal to him on a more personal level. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who knows how he will react either way? Tonight, Batman saves Bruce Wayne. Yes, about bloody time. Screw this up, Harvey. It was the right thing to do. Yeah, of course. Of course it was the right thing to do. I just can't... I just can't second-guess myself. Bit of a strange place to hang out, isn't it, Dent? Oh, Batman. What a surprise to see you on my roof. You've gone too far. Leave Wayne alone. Wayne? What, is this about the whole seizing his assets thing? What are you gonna do? You gonna break my legs? <laughs> or maybe you're just gonna make threats. Words out that you don't get violent unless you have to. No, not my style. Well, I guess I should count my blessings then. Ah, <sighs> funny. Would have thought that this Wayne situation would be a little... beneath you, Batman. After everything Bruce has done, why should I do anything for him? Wayne was your friend. He put his faith in you, supported your campaign. He betrayed me! He lied to my face while sneaking around behind my back! Wayne is just another curveball this stupid city threw my way. Hill and his goons, the Waynes, the children of Arkham. I'm finally starting to understand, to see just how sick Gotham really is. To save Gotham, I need to do some bad before it gets better. Ready to go. Do it. Drugs destroyed. Hey, man, we lost a bunch of our own guys. The apartment next door. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. That blast was way bigger than you said. We must have taken out a whole city block with it. We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. I feel like I should thank you. Seeing as you did give Gordon that tip. Doing this. You're no better than the children of Arkham. You're worse. No. I'm saving Gotham. I doubt the police would see it that way. The police? Oh, the smart ones already answer to me. Otherwise... 
Well, I think Gordon is already a perfect example of what happens to the not-so-smart ones. Bet he wishes he had just handed over the location of the drug stockpile when I asked. <laughs> what did you say about Gordon? Getting what's coming to him. You're so full of big scary talk. If you want to save this city, this is how you have to do it. Gordon is on our side. He's fighting for Gotham too. I... Crime Alley. I took him to Crime Alley. Off of Wayne, huh? <laughs> Let's take a ride, gentlemen. What the hell is this? Mayor Dent says you're getting in the way of protecting the city. Dent's got you brainwashed. No! He's trying to help! The children of Arkham are out of control, and no one, no one, is doing enough! Batman! What a mess. Thank you, Batman. Save the thanks, and explain to me why I just watched half a city block go up in flames. Dent took out the warehouse with the drugs. The location that I gave to you. Are you accusing me of something, Batman? Just say it. Come on! Let's hear it! I only told you. Dent knows, so someone you talked to told him. You know we're on the same team here. So stop leaning on me and let's figure out what happened. Tell me what you know. By the time I got back to the precinct, Dent already had the information. He strong-armed it out of Commissioner Grogan. I didn't even have time to scratch my ass before I got hauled out here. Den's position makes him dangerous. He's persuasive, and he has power. Den thinks that what he's doing is best for Gotham. Execution. And martial law. I know. I always considered him my friend. But he's past saving. And there's no world in which he manages to set this right. I don't believe that. Everyone can be saved. You said it yourself. He's trying to help Gotham. He's just lost. He's little more than lost. He's off the rails. I mean, you have to see that. We have a lot of work to do. Everything is such a goddamn mess. But we gotta start somewhere. The real threat on the streets is still the children of Arkham. They are what Dent is reacting to. And standing in the way of dealing with them, too. The precinct trusts you. The commissioner trusts you. Use that. Direct their focus. <sighs> yeah. Gotta handle this first, though. We will get through this, Jen. I'm glad we're on the same side. He's causing the feedback loop. He's somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the back computer. <sighs> Hang on, Lucius. It's Alfred. I'm patching him in. Al, Lucius figured out how Penguin's cracking my security. He has a device that. I'm afraid we have another problem to deal with. Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I 
don't envy your position. I need to stop Penguin. You go to the Batcave and make sure Harvey doesn't find it. I understand. Time to go to work. Time. Lucius, are you there? I'm off site, but I've tapped into the security systems to give us an advantage. I can let you know where Oswald's guards are, and which routes are clear. So long as you can confirm Penguin's black box when we're in the lab. I can do that too. Avoid that hallway. More guards ahead. Go right. Wait. Drones ahead. Turn around. Head for the elevator. I'm opening the doors. Now! <clears throat> Oswald is in my office. Naturally. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Does anyone have him? Useless, you you're all bloody useless! Hey! It's the bear! You're a dead bear! Well, if it ain't the biggest bleeding pleasure to see your sour mug again! Globe while you can, Cobblepot. I'm taking you down. Mm, yeah? I don't think so. In fact, I think it's you who's gonna get beat by me. I'm pretty good in a fight, you know. You seem pretty confident about that. Yeah, well I am. You know, I like your style, Batman. I really do. But you're really starting to be a pain in the ass. The children of Arkham are going to walk all over this city, and there isn't anyone who can stop us! Not even you! But this company, under my expert stewardship, with the technology being developed, we could control nations. You and your plans are over, Penguin. You're going down. Wrong. This is just the start. You know, Wayne was thinking too small. He was only tinkering around. So focused on consumer technology. Lady Arkham, she has vision. That's why she made sure I was put in charge of the company. Why? Oh, I see. It helps you plan things out ahead of time. Neat trick, though. Pretty flashy for someone who only wears black. How? Oh. Not just for fashion. It's very functional. Face it, Batman. You're outmatched. Without your tech, you're just a man in a pointy-eared costume. You can't stop us. Watch me. Batman, show me what you got. My turn. You're pathetic.
Yeah, that little butte is almost done hacking your precious network. That's the device. A few more minutes, all your secrets are mine. I will stop you before that happens. Huh. Oh, is this how it feels when you put on that suit? I like it! Haven't you learned yet? I've shut you down! I'm the one with the toys now, bad. <laughs> this is the start of a new legacy! And I'm afraid you don't have any place in it. It's done, Cobblepot. Your revolution is over. It started with you, and it ends with Lady Arkham. Ugh. Oh, good luck. You'll never find her in time. Where is she? What is she planning? The message is the same as it's ever been. We will open your eyes. This city's hypocrisy will be exposed. Tell me where to find her. Piss off! Oh, I'm not telling you anything. Tell me! I won't tell you. Do your worst. But you can help yourself by talking. I'll stop her either way. What the? Just cut me down, mate. I mean, what will people say? <laughs> Just tell them Wayne put up a fight. <laughs>
It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents! Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? I've got some other business I need to take care of. What did you do? I destroyed Lady Arkham's drugs. But the innocent people were a small price to pay. Ah! Ah! Oh, you psycho! Uh, no, you can do whatever you want to me. But Lady Arkham's plans are already in motion. The city is still reeling from an explosion Mayor Harvey Dent set off that obliterated an entire city block and killed innocents. When questioned about his extreme measures, Mayor Dent said he'll use any force necessary to take down the children of Arkham. You're done, Gordon! Give up your badge and we'll let you live! Meanwhile, his opponents are routinely silenced. The latest to speak out is Police Commissioner Grogan. He called Dent a murderer and a terrorist, and demanded his immediate resignation. In response, Dent's enforcers attempted to arrest Grogan, sparking violence inside the precinct. These are dark days in Gotham. Our mayor promised us a better city, but delivers only more violence. How long do we let this Two-Face stay in power? How long can we... Hey, you can't be in here. But, hey, you can't do this! Shut hey, up. let me go! Hey, hey, stop! Time's up! You should have known better, Gordon! Now we nail your tongue to the precinct door by order of City Hall! Just try me. You punks. In time, Batman. Ugh. Mayor Dent's lost his goddamn mind. His enforcers have overrun the city. Apparently, our new mayor doesn't care much for dissent. He's ordered a purge of every honest cop we have left. Which isn't many. Someone's gotta stop him. Come on. The commissioner's still down there. Ugh. Sure you're up for this? I have to be. Follow my lead. The Commissioner. They can't hold out much longer.
Stop it! The Commissioner, is he? God damn it! No! Not you two. Believe me, Lieutenant. Dent will pay for this. If you don't take him down, I'll tear him apart myself. Krogan was a good man. A family man. Lieutenant Gordon! Gordon! Come in! S Sergeant Kelly! Report! It's the mayor! At Wayne Manor. He's got hostages. And he's killing them one by one until Bruce Wayne shows. He says... He says... Cops show up, he'll kill another. Batman shows up, he'll kill them all. Kelly, get out of Sir, there! Sir, I'm... I'll let the coin decide. Kelly! Kelly! Damn it! Ooh. Get yourself to a hospital, Lieutenant. Alfred, are you safe? Yes. I barricaded in the Batcave. I heard gunshots, but then Harvey's men disabled the cameras. I have to face Harvey as Bruce Wayne. Otherwise, he'll just keep killing people. Perhaps going as Bruce could be an advantage. Even without the suit, you're a formidable opponent. I should be able to keep Harvey talking long enough to get close. Then I'll make my move. It may be your best chance. I'll be standing by if you need me. It's time to end this, Harvey. Once and for all. Now, I want to save for Gotham. A Gotham where working people can raise their families. Without fear of being robbed or stabbed or, or worse. I just... I know I can make the city better. If only I... Okay, I'll back you. <laughs> Come on, Bruce. That joke is in poor taste. I'm serious, Harvey. I'll fund your campaign completely. I've lived in Gotham my whole life. And I've never seen an official I can believe in. Tell you. Oh, thank you, Bruce. I, I... I promise I will not let you down. Mm -mm, never even crossed my mind. The only real question is, this election or next? We'll let the coin decide. <laughs> Lucky. But someone has to die. Are you volunteering, Deborah? Harvey! Wayne! About damn time! Snipers, two of them. Get the drones online. I'll see what I can do. I wasn't sure you'd come. I throw you at Arkham. Burn down your home! I came to help my friend, Harvey. I don't want your help. I want you dead! That is the sickness talking. And I know you're in there somewhere, Harvey. <laughs> Wait. What am I saying? I've tried to fight it, Bruce, but... I can't. Bruce, I only ever wanted to help Gotham. And now look at me. I can't stop him. He's stronger than I am. You have terrorized this city. Murdered innocent people. There's no coming back from that. I might as well embrace the life I've chosen. This city needs to be purged of people like you. All of you. Traitors. Terrorists. <laughs> Cops who don't take their mayor's oh. orders! Harvey, don't! This is the only way to clean up this cesspool! <laughs> no! 
No, please! This is what happens to people who cross me, Wayne. If only you could see yourself, Harvey. Would you want this to be your legacy? My legacy will be destroying the children of Arkham! You'll be remembered for a bloodbath. Nothing more. You're right. This isn't me. Go. Go, get away! I would let them all go, but... It's not up to me. Deborah, my not-so-faithful assistant. You've been feeding my enemies info since the start! I swear I... Beg all you want, but it's not up to me. Your life, his life, even my life. They all hinge on chance. <laughs> I didn't do it. You're weak, Harvey. Letting a coin make your decisions. It's not weakness, Wayne. It's strength. To accept there's something bigger than me. Bigger than any of us. It's your lucky day, Deborah. <laughs> now, Bruce! Stay back! Oh, God, please don't. Harvey, no more. No more? I'm just getting started! This is the only way to keep people in line. Harvey, please! You called me here for a reason. Take me! You... you were Harvey's friend, Wayne. He thought you'd save this city together. Uh, but he... He was a fool for believing in you! That's enough, Harvey. You're... you're right. Two-faced move, I know. But sometimes, you have to make your own luck. One last call. A bullet in the head, or one in the heart. I'm feeling pretty good about those odds. Give me the coin. I need... I need the result! Where do I shoot? Drop the damn coin! Without the coin, I can't. I don't think so. Bruce, I don't... I don't know what to do. I can't decide. That's too much. It's too much, it's too much. I can't. <laughs> A safer Gotham, Harvey. Just like you want it. Wherever they put me, whatever they do, I'll get out. I'm coming for you, Wayne. Nowhere is safe! You're gonna die! I'm gonna get you help, Harvey. We will get you better. I am better, Wayne! I'm the best I've ever been! Oh, you'll see. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Mr. Wayne, I, I owe you so much. You're a hero, and I'm going to make sure all of Gotham knows it. You should be rotting in Arkham! <laughs> Lady Arkham hasn't forgotten you. Everything you love will burn. 